Now today we're going over on how to test and replace a radiator fan relay and an AC condenser fan relay. So one fan kicks on when the vehicle warms up enough, the other fan kicks on when you first turn on the air conditioner. That's it, very, very simple. Now today it's specifically only how to locate these, remove them from the vehicle and test them at home. Now, if the relays are in good shape, but you still have trouble on your vehicle, I'll include a playlist in the description box below. It's helped many, many people. Ultimately, I go through the steps on how to test the wiring, fuses, test the motor itself for the fan. So there's a lot of things you could do to really pinpoint what's going on, but today it's specifically for relays only, okay? Now here in the Honda, getting access to these relays are very, very simple. They're right underneath the hood on the passenger side compartment. Now, if on your vehicle, if the relays live inside the cabin, typically you'll need just to remove a plastic cover, as you can see here. One tool that is absolutely terrific. I've had these for many years. They don't break. They were, I think they're $12 off Amazon. I'll include a link in the description box below if you happen to need one of these. It just makes removing plastic trim pieces very, very easy. So come over to the cover here and we have a number of fuses and relays. So whenever you see a number and the letter A, that just stands for amp. So 40 amp, 20 amp, 30 amp, so on and so forth. These are fuses. We're not interested in fuses right now. We're clearly doing the relays. So take a look at the box here, condenser fan relay, cooling fan relay. So that happens to be these two relays. So you just pull them out. Let's first do one at a time. Actually, we'll just take out both. Okay, and let's bring them over to the bench. Now testing the relays are very, very easy and do not be intimidated by anything you see here. I'll explain precisely what's going on and I'm going to try to do this based on what you have at home to test these, okay? So, very quickly, both relays are exactly the same, and chances are they will be on your vehicle as well. It's the same part number, so on and so forth, but we will test both of them nonetheless. So this is a digital multimeter. These cost roughly $20 to $25. This is off Amazon. Again, I'll have links in the description box below if you need anything. These are just alligator clips. Okay, it's just a single wire with clips on the end. Not necessary, just makes the job easier. These are very inexpensive as well. And then we need a battery source. In other words, we need to power up the relays as they are inside the vehicle. So in other words, inside your vehicle, power sent to the relay, we need to recreate that. So you can use your car battery. I tend not to do that because it's a little dangerous. Sometimes you have to remove panels, so on and so forth. So you may have something like a cordless tool that pushes out, really you want 12 volts. This is a little too much. This is currently pushing out roughly 18. I will use it nonetheless, but really 12 volts is where you want to be. If you're into RC cars, for example, and you have a LiPo battery pack, which is pushes, this is pushing out 11 volts. This is perfect. I tend, this is what I used to show, but I tend to show cordless tools because most of you have these at home, okay? So what I'm going to do is send power from the battery to the relay okay that's all I'm doing so if you look at the pack here we have a positive and a negative so I'm going to send power from here to here so this is simply a paper clip I cut in half I'm placing one lead into the positive terminal and the other lead into the negative terminal of the battery pack okay that's all I'm doing let me switch my hands here. I recently sprayed my thumb. So let me just do this here. Okay. Now make sure you don't cross these, obviously, because then uh, fire hazard, sparks, so on and so forth. So just be careful. Positive and negative. Now regarding the relay, you'll find that we have four prongs. Two horizontal, two vertical. When we test this, we don't want to place one lead horizontal, the other lead vertical. You want to do a matching pairs. So two leads to horizontal and two leads to vertical. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. Okay, so that's the main thing. Don't mix and match. Go with horizontal or vertical. So we'll set one lead. So these are just wires with alligator ends. Place one here. 
that's the positive of the battery and here again I don't know which two prongs to touch process of elimination now the goal is to hear a clicking noise that's a very very good sign that the relay is working so for example if I press or if I touch the other horizontal probe nothing is happening okay there's no clicking noise but now let's try the vertical the vertical series here so one there you hear that that's a very good sign that's what we want to look for or here again same on this okay so now we know which two prongs to touch super super simple so now let's hook this up and now I want to make sure let's do this I don't want to make sure these guys don't cross I want to verify that we're getting continuity so what that means is inside the relay we want to make sure that the two these two vertical posts are making contact inside the relay just because we hear a clicking noise it's a good sign but it's not definite so in the multimeter you have a symbol and it looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot okay right there that's what you need to see and all that stands for is continuity again two points make a connection okay this is what you want to hear so now on the relay if I place one lead here carefully one lead there and the other one here let me zoom in whoops let me sorry about this let me zoom in. a little difficult but you get the point so one lead here and one lead here we should hear continuity and we do okay this verifies that the relay is working this is precisely what you need to do it's super super simple if you're getting a little confused just watch this a few times and you'll get it so let's test the other one so we know it's the these two guys so let's power up the relay okay now it's powered again continuity looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot the symbol one goes here that's it so both of these relays are in working condition so as you can see it's simple to do it's quite inexpensive and it sure beats paying someone ninety dollars a hundred dollars an hour to do this in their shop if you still have trouble again check out that playlist and chances are you'll be very very successful finding out what's wrong with your vehicle as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon